Thank you for joining me on the Investing for Freedom podcast. Today, we're going to go back in time about 10 years ago. Uh, this is an exercise that we did uh, recently at the Next Level Couple event that we had at our house here in Austin, Texas. This is the first time that we've done this event. And from my perspective and the feedback that we got from the couples, it was a great event. And I think we'll continue to do this. So we decided to test it out this year. Um, just do a small group of couples. There was uh, seven to eight couples here, depending on the time of the weekend. When where this all started, just quickly, uh, the the couples that were in the first year, uh, next level couple mastermind, which is something that we do for an entire year, five couples, we spend an entire year together. When the year was up, some of the couples were like, "What are we going to do next?" And you know, started talking about having a reunion, and and so we agreed to try to figure that out, and that's what kind of birthed this event. So we decided that every November we would do a reunion where the couples that have been basically the alumni, anybody that's been in the next level couple mastermind um, in any of the previous years come in for a cocktail party. And then we spend an entire day together. Um, this next year, we'll be doing some legacy and wealth planning. And then that e the, the evening uh, following, then all the new couples will come in and we'll spend all day um, Saturday together and, and then part of the day Sunday. So anyway, that was uh, what started this this uh, whole event. And this next year, we'll be doing it November 3rd, 4th, and 5th of 2023 in Austin, Texas. So if you're interested in that, you can text the word uh, event to 480-531-7519, and we can uh, get you on the list. And as soon as we send out that information, um, you can join us in Austin, Texas. It was a great event. But anyway, part of that event, um, we did an exercise and, you know, I might have even mentioned this on the podcast before. This is something that I think about often and kind of consider regularly too. And here's the question that I want to ask you. If you go back 10 years, so currently I'm recording right now, it's November 13th, 2022. So if you go back to 2012, and if you're driving, listening to this, you can go ahead and listen to it or um, you know, come back to it. And I would encourage you to just do this exercise. I'm going to keep this one short today. It'll probably be five to seven minutes. Um, so go back 10 years ago, so to 2012, and just think about your life. Where were you at in 2012? Where were you working? Um, how much money were you making? Where were you living? What house were you in? What city were you in? How old were your children? If you had children, were you married? Maybe you weren't even married yet. Um, what did your life look like? And so again, you know, what, what was your job? What was your career? What did your business look like if you were already in business? What did your investment portfolio look like in 2012? And then you fast forward to today, and here's the question that I pose. Is your life better today than you could have imagined or what you were striving for in 2012? Is it better or is it worse? And, you know, there is some people that are probably saying, you know, my life is worse because, you know, you've gone through some tragedy or, you know, maybe you're going through a divorce or, or whatever it is that you're currently going through. Um, but the majority of people that I talk to say that their life is drastically better than what they could have imagined in 2012, 10 years forward, drastically better than what they could have imagined and definitely better than it was 10 years ago. And so I pose the question and it makes me think about a scripture that says, our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask, think, or imagine. So it's so powerful because if people and the universe and God himself or herself, uh, whatever God is, if it will align around us, and again, you hear me say this so many times, but the more you give, the more you're going to receive. Zig Ziglar's quote, you can have everything you want in life if you just help enough other people get what they want. So when you go back 10 years and you think about that, the thing I want to challenge you with today, if that is true, and we're more intentional about it in the next 10 years or even five years or even three years. Cameron Harold has a great book called Vivid Vision. Um, Matt King, uh, who's the CEO of GoBundance and also runs a family office for um, David Osborne, came in and spoke to the couples on a Sunday. And this was a big part of the conversation too. Um, you know, what, what does legacy and wealth planning and and all of that look like. And really, you know, in his theme, we had done this exercise um, the day before. And the theme that he constantly kind of revolved around too was really just setting your intentions, setting your vision, getting really clear on what you want. And by the way, 
What do you really want? Why do you want it? What are you going to do to get it? Measure results, adjust. The thing about it is when you start writing out a three-year vision or a five-year vision or a 10-year vision even, it's your vision. You're the one that gets to decide if you decide to adjust. And I think so many people get uh, bottled up because once they put that vision and that pen to paper, they're scared. Well, what if it doesn't come to pass? And how is this going to happen? And the thing that I would challenge you with, if you go back 10 years ago, there's no way that you could have mapped out everything good that was going to happen in your life. So sometimes we just have to step out in faith a little bit and dream and put a vision out there, not knowing exactly how it's going to happen, but knowing that if we start chasing a certain dream and desire and things we want, that the entire universe, God and people in the universe will align around us to make good things happen to us. And so going back to 10 years ago and then looking at your life today, is your life better or is it worse than you could have imagined? And if it's better than you could have imagined, then I really want to challenge you to maybe take some time. You know, it's it's uh, mid-November. We have 45 days-ish until the year ends. We're all going to be doing a bunch of goal planning and setting our intentions for 2023. We're doing it and thinking about it a little bit earlier this year. And again, part of that is because of the couples event, um, which again, it'd be awesome for you to join us, um, you and your partner um, in, in November of 2023, because then we can get a jump start on this, but you can do it on your own. So I would just challenge you to really maybe take some time over the next few weeks to just really start thinking about, you know, what do you want your life to look like in three years? What has to happen to make your life extraordinary, to make your life incredible? What things will need to happen by then? What things do you want in your life? Where do you want to live? Who do you want to be married to? What do you want your marriage to look like if you're already married? How old are your kids going to be? Um, what are you going to be working on? You know, Some of you are in W-2 jobs and, and want to get out on your own and start your own businesses. Some of you are in businesses that you want to 10x. Some of you are in business or in W-2 and want to increase your investment portfolio, get over onto the right side of the cash flow quadrant, if you will. What does that look like? And start specifically drawing that out, spelling that out, putting that to paper. And one of the things that Matt King said that I thought was so powerful, one of his goals is to review his goals 150 times a year. So not every day, but 150 times a year. So basically three times a week, he reviews his goals. And I hear this over and over and over. It's a theme from successful people, write your goals. And in Malachi, there's a scripture that says, write the vision and make it plain that he who sees it may run with it. It's the same thing for our own eyes. And one of my favorite uh, mentors, people in the world, Dan Sullivan always says, the eyes only see and the ears only hear what the brain is looking for. If we write down our goals, if we write down our one year, three year, five year, 10 year visions, the brain is going to be looking for that. So the eyes are going to see that. The ears are going to hear that. They're going to go out there and start working. You might be saying, Mike, what does that mean? There's opportunity everywhere. Sometimes we just don't see it. Sometimes we don't hear it. Sometimes we're not asking for it because we're not, um, we don't, we haven't trained our brain um, and, and our eyes and our ears to hear it. So I promise you, if you just take a little bit of time and you get some clarity around what you would like your life to look like in three years and five years, it's going to be much better than you could think or imagine. And again, the reason why I started out with going back to 10 years ago is because if you go backwards and you look at your life 10 years ago, is it better or is it worse than you could have you know, imagined today? And I have to think that for the majority of you, again, barring some external you know, situations, the majority of people, it's better. And so I think with some intentionality, we could make our lives much, much more extraordinary in the next five years, 10 years than, than even what we did in the last 10 years. We should be getting exponentially better as we start carrying on through life. There's this old idea of, you know, as we start getting older, we start slowing down. Um, we start, you know, reaching that retirement age. My golden years are behind me. Not true. I think we should be getting exponentially better. So I hope that helps and I hope you'll take it to heart. And again, if you've just listened to this, um, I would encourage you to get a pen and a paper or your digital notebook or an audio recorder or whatever it is that you use, a computer, and go get some quiet time and just really put out a three-year or a five-year vision. Just start thinking those things. And again, it's yours. 
So you're the one that gets to adjust. You're the one that gets to decide to change it. So don't get too stressed out about it and dream big because God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask, think, or imagine. So let's start imagining big things and let's not get stuck on how it's going to happen. And, and let's just start putting things out there and, and see how people and God and, you know, just systems and processes in the world just align around us and, and uh, just go out there and make it great. I'm in your corner. I'm rooting for you. And one last thing that I'll say, um, we are this week, actually, as you're hearing this, um, the early wait list for the Next Level Couple Mastermind is opening up for 2023. There's only five spots available. Um, we'll take five couples and spend an entire year with them. Two events, one in, one in January, one in September. Um, if you're interested in uh, joining us in the Next Level Couple Mastermind, text the word COUPLE to 480-531-7519. Uh, the word couple or couples, either one, to 480-531-7519. Um, this is different than the event. The event will be in November and the event's for everyone. Um, the mastermind is a pretty high ticket uh, item, but we do some epic trips. We spend a year together. We have awesome speakers come in at the events. We have awesome speakers come in every month and speak to us. You get a one-on-one -on -one call with me. If you're a guy, you get a one-on-one -on -one call with Kara. If you're the girl in the relationship, um, so if you're interested in that, again, text the word couples to 480-531-7519.